That was a rotten trick you played on me, George. I did it for both of us, Wheezy. You did what for both of us? See, this guy I invited to dinner could do us a lot of good. You remember me talking about a Coleman Harris? The man who owns the supermarkets? That's right, and he also owns the real estate company who owns the land where he built the supermarkets, and he owns the finance company who lent him the money to buy the real estate company. <laughs> and the dog that ate the cat that swallowed the rat that ate the cheese. Quit joking, Wheezy. Fun and money don't mix. <laughs> then this Coleman Harris must be a real barrel of laughs. Probably. He's going into the catering business now, citywide. And it's going to be the biggest thing since Afro Sheen. <laughs> this guy's filthy rich and now he's gonna make another fortune. Good for him. I'm always happy to hear that somebody who's filthy rich is about to get even filthy. <laughs> yeah, but some of this filth is gonna rub off on us because I'm gonna get the cleaning contract to his catering business, even if it means you cooking him the best meal he ever had. Okay, George, it just so happens we're having roast beef. Great. And baked potatoes in their jackets. Oh. Maybe you should put little collars and ties on. <laughs> this guy's real classy. All right, George. You gave me a surprise, and now I have one for you. You will never guess who I ran into this morning. That's right, because I ain't gonna even try. <laughs> Where's the book, Louise? This is a $14 bottle of wine, and the guy told me I gotta let it breathe. For $14, it should have come with his own oxygen tank. <laughs> the corkscrew is right there in front of you. Oh. Okay, who'd you bump into? Someone we knew when we lived up in Harlem. Somebody black? <laughs> and beautiful. <laughs> ah. Then it couldn't be anybody from your family. <laughs> it wasn't family, George. I'll give you a hint. You got a shape, rattle and roll. Sim! Yes, Roy Sim! Right! And his wife, Natalie. Why, how they doing? Fine, but Roy misses you, George. He says it's no fun singing duets by himself. <laughs> he remembered, huh? I think the whole neighborhood remembers. <laughs> when you and Roy did your stuff at a party, it was a ball, a wrecking ball. <laughs> yeah, we could have more houses than the building inspectors. <laughs> yeah, I really dug that cat, but Roy Sims is one in a million. He'd lend you the shirt off his back. Yeah, I remember when he lent you the shoes off his feet. Mm -hmm. Because the pair you owned had more hole than soul. <laughs> yeah, and I had to walk all the way downtown and all that slush looking for a job. Ooh, he had some big feet on him, didn't he? <laughs> I had to take two steps before those shoes moved once. <laughs> you know what? I could have put wheels under one of them and use it as a skateboard. <laughs> and you got the job, remember? <laughs> and how's Natalie? Just as sassy as ever. <laughs> How that woman could make me laugh. You remember when she got the landlord to send the exterminator? No. Oh, sure you do. The landlord came for the rent, and she gave him a rat. And he said, where's the rent? She said, inside the rat. <laughs> they eat up everything around here. <laughs> the exterminator was there the next day. <laughs> Yeah, them two were quite a pair. Where are they living now? Oh, same old place. Things haven't changed for them. Oh, that's too bad. Mm. It sure would be nice to see old Roy again. It would? Sure would. Oh, I'm glad, because that's my surprise. I invited them to dinner tonight. <laughs> hey, hold it. Free. Tell me I heard you wrong, Weezy. You heard me wrong, Wheezy. <laughs> but I didn't, did I? That's right, you didn't. They're coming to dinner tonight. They can't. Why not? You just said you would like to see them. I would, tomorrow or yesterday, any day, but today. I told you I already invited Coleman Harris. So, look, you don't understand, Wheezy. Harris is the top dog in black society. He's one of the 400. But you just said Roy is one in a million. Look, Roy and that are meat and potatoes. Harris is the upper crust, real fancy. He's coming here to see if I got enough class to go into business with him. What's he gonna think when he sees the Sims? Well, if he's as brilliant as you say he is, he'll figure out there's two more people for dinner. <laughs> I'm gonna call him right now and tell him to come another night. Okay, George. What's that number? Uh, it's unlisted. Since when? Since they haven't got a phone. 